Okay, hello everyone. So today I'll be talking about the nonsense that you hear about. Like the currency that you're using is going to become worthless. So you should invest your money in this or that. And I just think that's just a bunch of BS in my opinion. Because uh, the money that you have or the currency that you save, let's say, for example, I live in the USA, so I save, not save, but I use dollars, and I also save dollars as well. But um, is that really a bad idea to just save your money if you really think about it? Because I'm a pretty good saver. I... I do invest my money but I do also save it in currency and people may ask why do you save your money I mean why do you save it when you, you have all this inflation you know because uh, obviously there is a lot there has been a lot of inflation and, and we would you can basically see that um, let's say the price well, for example, um, the cost of living about maybe about 10 years ago, um, see what the price of gasoline is about 10 year 10 years ago. Look at the chart. The average price of gasoline in the US so different parts of the country the price could be a little bit more or it could be a little bit less but as of April it's five dollars and sixty two cents the national average for price of ga gallon of gasoline now let's go back about 10 years to 2012 30 okay in 2016 it was lower at two dollars and 83 cents so yes obviously the price of gasoline has more than doubled in the past let's say six years Let's go further back. Let's go back to 1990, April. $1 a gallon, okay? Right now it's $5.62 a gallon, av national average. That was 32 years ago. The dollar has lost quite a bit of value. So basically, yes, the currency that you have does lose value. There is inflation every year, okay? However, um, that's true, but if you put your money into a bad investment, then you could lose your money faster than the rate of inflation, right? For example, the people who bought Terra Luna, right? At its high, it was about $112 for Terra Luna. And today it is worth, let's see how much Terra Luna is worth as of now. It's worth, um, let's see what this says. worth
less than a dollar. So let's see how many cents that is. It's worth 0 0.012 cents. from $112. Let's see how much that went down. It went down <laughs> 933,000 933,000 333.33 times from its high of $112. Inflation is not that high, okay? It's maybe it's uh, one to three percent a year, okay? And uh, if you put your life savings into a risky investment like this, then you're worse off than what the rate of, of inflation is basically and uh, there's all these people telling you that you should invest in like silver you should invest in crypto you should invest in this and that and whatever well you know what I I don't really care about what they say you know because a bad investment would be much worse than putting it in, no, I mean, uh, the rate of inflation would be worse than putting it into any investment that goes bad, you know. I mean, just look at just, just the stock market, for example. Let's look, let's say I uh, um, invested in a, uh, in a company called Carvana, okay. See, I did that, um, let's say, about a year ago. One year ago from from, t from today, which is uh, May 22nd, 2022. How much, of, how much money would have I lost, right? And let's say, they say inflation this year is about 9%. That's the average inflation. If you add everything, food, I guess a pair of shoes, a, a big screen television, a car, uh, widgets or whatever, okay. About 9% inflation in 2022. Let's say I bought Carvan, Carvana, right, which is $33. It's at 57 cents, right. Now, how much money would have I lost if I if I put my money into that, for example? Let's say I invested I bought a share of that at $223. 23 cents per share okay let's say I invested let's say I invested two thousand dollars into that so I would have had nine about nine shares of Carvana I guess we have to capitalize that um, and today the shares is three Thirty-three dollars and fifty-seven cents. So, how much money would have I had now? Would I would I have now at thirty-three dollars? So I'd have three hundred and two dollars and thirteen cents. The value of that Carvana, Carvana stock. And I invested roughly about two thousand dollars. Two 
thousand bucks. So how much would have I lost? I would have lost eighty-four point nine percent in one year. And inflation is about nine percent this year. So look at the difference. I mean, you put it into a bad investment, you lost 84.9% of your money, and you have idiots telling you on the, in the internet that, uh, you know, inflation is, is bad at like, I don't know, 2 to 9%. And so you should invest your money into this. You should invest your money into that. And all this bull crap. And, uh, Yes, you're worse off than the rate of inflation, okay? So, let's say I still, I didn't put my money into that foolish investment. I have, I have that $2,000, let's say in my checking account or saving account or whatever. Now, what could I buy with this $2,000? Okay, let's say I own a home, right? and I have to pay property tax of um, let's say maybe maybe three thousand dollars per year for my property tax I could use that money and put it in there and pay off pay my property tax with it okay and property taxes remain I guess stable, I mean stagnant. Uh, they don't ac assess, assess the house every single year, right? So let's say you bought your house um, 30 years ago and they haven't assessed it, then you could, uh, that, that would be like a fixed expense, right? So fixed expenses. Uh, what are fixed expenses? Like property tax could be a fixed ex expense. Uh, a mortgage is a fixed expense. So let's say I bought a house and you know, let's see, 1997 or something. And I'm paying about, let's say, a thirteen hundred fourteen hundred dollars a month right let's say I still have a mortgage on that house that's a fixed expense this is what I'm paying every month so I could have used this two thousand dollars to pay my mortgage right and I wouldn't have lost eighty four point nine percent or in this case I wouldn't have lost uh, if I bought something as foolish as this I wouldn't have lost 99 point just 9999 percent of my money right a lot worse than the rate of inflation a lot worse than this a lot worse than this right a lot worse and plus, I could have used that money. Let's say uh, I put two thousand dollars in Terra Luna about a year ago. So I bought, uh, let's say, seventeen point eight five Terra Luna, right? And how much is that? How much is seventeen point eight five Terra Luna worth now? it is worth less than one cent it is worth point zero zero two dollars or if you convert that to cents it'd be worth
it'd be worth uh, actually 0 0.21 cents. That's less than one cent. <laughs> that is less than one cent. You think about that. It's worth 4.76 times less than one cent. So one cent. One cent is greater than zero point two cents by four point seven six times. You get that through your head. That is less than one cent, so I guess a, a nickel is worth <laughs> five cents. <laughs> is worth 23.8 times more than that so if you bought it at if you bought this at 10 cents when it went down and let's say I invested um, let's say I put in five thousand dollars at 10 cents so how much is that worth now then So I would have bought fifty thousand I would have bought fifty thousand Terra Luna. Right? And at the current value it would be worth six dollars. Six dollars from five thousand dollars to six dollars, and probably a matter of a week or something less than a week. Let's see how much inflation that is. That's 99.9, .9, that's 99.88 inflation in a matter of weeks so your money went from this to this that's worse than the rate of inflation <laughs> right so the money that you have in your pocket is not worthless you could use the money to pay for I guess your income tax as well if you have if you are a W-2 employee, right? You could use the money to pay your income tax, which is, I guess, fixed. You could, uh, you could use that money to uh, start a business as well, a small side business. Um, you could use that money to. Uh, buy your groceries, buy shoes, buy whatever you need, right? Sure, there's inflation, right? You could um, use that money to, uh, if you need something that's, let's say you, you want to buy some used stuff, you could buy it on Craigslist, right? You could, you could pay cash with it and buy it. Say you need a, uh, a laptop or something you can buy it on eBay or Craigslist not a lot of money you need something that's just disposable yeah you could use money for that I mean you could use your currency for that or as um, equities and everything else goes down in price you could use that money to buy cheap assets in the future as the stock market starts to tank and it will tank it's it's tanking right now and um, all these other speculative assets like cryptocurrencies are tanking as well maybe if you have some money saved up you could use some of that money to buy those cheap assets and when they go up in the future you could make a profit or you could make a capital gains so those are the options you could 
mate with having cash, right? And not listen to these clowns that tell you to invest your money because money is going to be worthless. We're going to go into hyperinflation and spreading all this fear and panic, which is which I think is totally unnecessary, you know. You could spend that money to go out in the weekend and spend time with your family, or you could go out and eat in the weekend, you know. It would have been better than putting it into something like this, where it went down 99.9%, uh, .9 where where that where the thing just went to complete zero or you would have lost or you put it into this thing where you lost uh, 84.9 percent or other assets you probably lost you could have lost 40 percent on or in a year or whatever so yes you could use the money but you know these people are just saying that well back in 1910 or whatever a dollar used to buy you like uh, so much you know so much stuff uh, like in 1910 uh, like uh, gasoline was or kerosene was worth uh, <laughs> I don't know maybe uh, five cents a gallon or something and now uh, gasoline is five dollars or something Look at all the inflation. Look at all the inflation. You know what? I wasn't alive in 1910. Right. That was 112 years ago. So. <coughs> I don't care if somebody, some idiot says, uh, back in the 1950s, let's see how much a gallon of gas was in 1950. I don't, I don't really know because I wasn't born. I wasn't around in 1950. <coughs> 27 cents. Back in 1950, uh, <laughs> a gallon of gas was 27 cents. And look at how much it is now. I mean, look at all this inflation. You know, this is why you got to put your money into this or that or Bull crap! It went down like twenty point seven four percent from the, from that time. <laughs> this was how many years ago? This was seventy two years ago. Like I would notice, I would even care about it. You know, for most people, the money that they make is used up within a couple of months for most people. Most people live pretty much paycheck, paycheck. This is how it's always been. Most people don't, or they save very little bit. They save a little bit of money. I guess you could save a little money, bit of money because uh, um, if you do get laid off or fired or whatever, or if you have a business and that goes under, um, if you have savings and that could get you through hard times, right? You could use that money to, to like, uh, sustain yourself until you find an, another job or you start another business or whatever. And this is what happened to me back in 2012. You know, I lost my business. And, um... Yes, I lost my business. I didn't have anything to do for for quite a while, you know. And um, we had that 2008 recession. You know, I wasn't making any money in my business. I was bleeding money. But you know how I was able to get through it? It's because I had savings in... Because I had savings. You know, that got me through it. That got me through 2012 when I lost my business. I, but thankfully, I found a job 
or found something to do the very next year, you know. And I had I had savings to get me through this. So think about the people who invested their money in foolish things, believing that they they could beat inflation, and in in the end they were not able to beat inflation. In in fact, they lost more than the rate of inflation. Right? Think about those people who don't have anything right now. You know they. They have all these payments. They have they have a family to support. They have a mortgage, or it, or pay rent or rent every month. Um, we have inflation right now, and price of everything is going up. You know you, they need to buy energy, fuel, utilities, cell phone bill, internet. They have all these, all these, you know, all these factors, right? And all their investments went down in, in value. And they have all these obligations and stuff that they have to do. And, they, and then they tell their wife, I put my money in Terra Luna because I believe it could pay 20% a year. And 20% a year is better than inflation. And I'm I'm going ahead. I'm I'm you know I'm gonna be. I don't have to work, and this is gonna pay me for the rest of my life. That never happened, did it? Or the people who believe that the stock market will keep going up for forever and ever, right? So you know I don't have to do anything but put my money in the stock market, and the stock market is like a bank account. That is just uh, lunacy, right there. That's crazy. I don't I don't but I never believed putting money into stocks was like putting it money into a bank account I would never use a stock as a bank account okay or put my money into a stock and say that's like putting that's as good as pun putting money in to a bank, you know, I would never say that. That that is that that's just nonsense because uh, all that is just speculation, right? Just gambling. This is like Las Vegas. <laughs> this is Las Vegas, right? This is not a safe place to put your money. And some idiots um, fear mongering and say, "Well, the banks can steal your money too." That's BS. Because we have something called the FDIC. And the FDIC is insured up to $250,000. Right. So if you have less, if you have less than two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and most people don't have two hundred fifty dollars in their bank account, you're gonna be all right. They're gonna make you whole again. People are saying, "Well, if you put your money in the bank, the bankers can steal it." Oh no, that's that's not real. You got the FDIC. Guaranteed up to $250,000. If you have less than that, you're going to be all right, okay? It's, this is the reason why we have FDIC is that um, back in the, I guess, the 1900s, the late 1800s, we did, we, did ha we did have something called bank runs, right? Where people had money in their bank accounts and the bank would... I guess the bank would go bankrupt and then people would lose all their deposits. Well, and ever since the New Deal with uh, with Roosevelt there during the 1930s, he became president. Um, he made 
I guess acts like the Federal Reserve, like the FDIC uh, Act, which uh, ensured depositors that they get their money back if the bank would collapse or whatever. Okay, so a lot of this, these regulations and everything, are actually good. You know, so people put their money, keep their money in the bank, and the bank lends it out to to people, and that would grow the economy. Okay, instead of having people put all their money in the under their mattress. I mean, if you put all your money in your house, you know, that's not safe either, because uh, somebody could break into your house. There's a lot of crime these days, and people could steal all your money. So that's not good either. And if it gets stolen, you'll lose all of it. So you have bank from and stuff like that, so, yes. That's fine. I could leave my money in the bank account, no problem. You know, as long as it's under this amount, no problem at all. So people were saying that the banks are going to steal your money, so you should just put all your money into our into this investment or that investment. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. If you have money, then you have opportunities. Money equals money equals opportunities. You could do other stuff with that money, you know. And um, you could use it during hard times, like which I had back in 2008 to 2012 when I was when I wasn't making any money in my business, when I was losing money, I just used my savings to get me through. Because I'm telling you, I wasn't making any money during, during 2009 up to 2012. I was just making, after I paid all my expenses, it was positive, but it would have been better working for somebody else. You know, because um, I was making so little money, you know, but I didn't. So I had to cover for my expenses, like, uh, of course, paying the utilities, paying energy, paying fuel and everything else, property tax. I had to cover that with my savings. So, yes, it's not worthless during uh, deflationary times. They say cash is king, right? During deflationary times, all assets tend to go down in price and value, right? So then you could use that cash to buy up cheap assets. So when the economy does recover again, you have you bought it at a very low price, and you could sell it later when the assets appreciate at a profit and then you'd be ahead right instead of trying to buy at the highs like which a lot of people tend to do because people tend to buy stuff when it's going up when it's going up uh, when it's ballistic when it goes up like vertically you know people really get attracted to that it's like a, it's like a magnet for for people you know well, this is going to go up a lot, therefore I must buy it now, you know, at the highest prices. So anyways, uh, these are my thoughts. So if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comment section. And I would like to hear it. And thanks for watching by Ace 1000 KS 1970.